Hey, everybody, Max Kevin here's Little Cute Podcast. It's not too long. I feel like I'm losing my voice a little bit. I just like got a drinky winky here. That's kind of too far away. You know, anyway, uh, how's your day going? Did you have a good day today? Yeah, my day was all right. You know, I worked on the uh, kids' books for a while there. Fucking, it's taking forever, man. But, uh, you know, it's coming along. It's coming along. A few more pages. I'll be able to post those, you know. Maybe that'll be my next gold mine, you know. Maybe I'll be making millions of dollars from the fucking kids' books, bro. The little kids want to see my drawings, you know. Yeah, this book I got, it's got like all the planets, you know. I don't know if I talked about this before, but... It's got all the planets. It's got cute little drawings of all the planets, you know. So you can read it with your family before bedtime and be like, Daddy, Daddy, what planet's this? And it'd be like, that's Jupiter. And you're like, oh, that's, uh, that's cool. Look at the little doggy, you know. That's how I imagine the kids will be when they're reading my book, you know. Hopefully gonna make that one in different languages too, start selling that. Also been, uh, you know, took another Japanese lesson today. Had this guy proofreading one of my books, you know. He was good because he was like reading stuff. Like a lot of the other teachers, they just kind of read it silently and I want them to read it out loud, you know. That way I know they're reading it. And uh, I can hear, I can hear how their mind is thinking. So he was reading out loud, which was good, you know. He was kind of robotic. And uh, he, he kept reading things incorrectly, you know. <laughs> like he would just read it how he wanted it to, how he thought it would sound, you know. Like he kept saying certain words that were written politely, like in the polite form. He'd say them in their casual form and then just keep going. And I'd be like, uh, wait, what? You, you're reading the wrong words, like. And this one word, uh, this one word is like, uh, like a big problem, means taihang. And he read it as all right, which is daijoubu, which is like, it starts with the same one. It starts with the same letter, but they're completely different words. And he, he was just like, instead of saying everything's going to be, or, or instead of saying this is a big problem, you know, he said, oh, this is a big all right. And he just kept reading, you know. So I don't know, uh, I don't know if hiring him for proofreading was, I don't know if he actually caught anything. Because uh, he didn't even know how to read stuff. And he got one kanji character wrong. He's like, oh, that's the wrong kanji. And I'm looking at it. I'm like, wait, really? Are you sure? He's like, oh, no, it's sorry. No, it's right. I forgot. So I don't know. Maybe he didn't go to... He didn't graduate to high school or something, you know? But anyway, it's only 12 bucks an hour. I'm paying this guy 12 bucks an hour, so... I can't demand much, you know? He's just some uh, unemployed guy in Japan. Trying to make... Trying to make a couple bucks on Friday morning. Because it's Friday morning over there, you know? Thursday night for me is Friday morning in Japan. I don't know, maybe he was tired. He didn't get his coofers yet. That's the only thing I can think of. But, uh, I'm not sure if I'll hire him again. <laughs> uh, anyway, it's tough. It's tough some of these lessons, you know? I schedule these lessons and the teachers, they say they're sick. But I think really they're just fucking hungover or something. Or, you know, they say they're busy or whatever. It's just like, yeah, God. Even after I write these... Even after I spent all these hours, I gotta let well, these people proofread them another hour. Oh my god, it takes so much time, man. My life, where's my life going? I'm just spending my life proofreading. Anyway, uh, yeah, I was pretty productive today. I still can't get that like that like third wind, you know. Basically, I have like a morning productivity session, then I have an afternoon productivity session, and then I eat dinner, and then I'm just like, oh fuck everything, man. I'm gonna watch some fucking TV, bro. I don't even have TV, but uh, you know, I watch uh, I watch the anime, the Japanese anime, on the internet. Yeah, anyway, I like to I like to be able to do that third leg, you know, that third 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 wind. Dude, I'm ru I'm running a marathon and I'm getting my third wind, bro. You guys ever run marathons? That's what they always talk about, you know. Oh, he's getting his he's getting his second wind, you know. I ran a half marathon once. It was pretty fun. Ran it in two hours. Respect. That's a respectable time, you know. It's a well. It's okay, you know. Respectable would be like an hour and a half. But uh, I was kind of I'm a couple fat boy, you know. So a couple of my friends, they didn't they didn't even make it. They didn't even finish, you know. They, they made it like halfway, and then they had to take the bus because they were they were taking too long. So like this uh, this bus this bus like goes around the end, you know. Because they close off the streets and they got to reopen the streets. So 
if you're the slowest person, you gotta you gotta ride the bus. Can't run anymore. So I called my friend. He got uh, he got picked up by the bus. You know. <laughs> he said he hurt his leg. He's like, ah, oh, I hurt my leg. But uh, we all know he's just fat. He's just fat and lazy. That was a fun day. You know, that was tough. That that made me. Uh, yeah, I ran for two hours. And I was training a lot for that. I was running like 45 minutes for like five times a week. Like the three months leading up to that, to train for that. That was the most I've, I was ever running in my life. I was running, yeah. I guess I was like four kilos. It was like three miles. I guess I was running three miles a day. Now, it had to be more than that. So it would be like 45, yeah, it was like four, it was like four and a half miles I was running. Yeah, it was four and a half miles, because the half marathon was like 13 miles, and I was trying to get to the, like, I was trying to, I was doing this training program where, like, you run, you run half the distance every day, and then once a week you run the, you run the half marathon and shit, but I never, I never got up to that, you know? After running for an hour, I just get bored, I just be like, all right, time to go back home. I just sort of run along this river. But, uh, yeah, that was, I remember I was, I was in pretty good shape. Then after I ran that half marathon, I was like, oh, this is, fu- this fucking sucks, man. Running two out, my feet hurt real bad. And I remember I couldn't, I couldn't run for like, I couldn't even walk for like the next three days. My feet hurt so bad from running for two hours. I was just like, oh, God. Ah, oh, this fucking sucks, man. Kind of made me never want to run again. But it was a fun day. It was a fun experience, you know. Running in the streets, because you're running in the middle of the streets with a bunch of people. And it's like 7.30 in the morning, and it's real cold still. And, uh, you know, you got the headphones in, you know. There's a, these little Japanese kids on the side of the road cheering you on. They're like, come buddy, come buddy. You know, they're like saying, like, do your best, you know. They want to give you the high five. And you run past them, and you don't give them the high five, and they get a disappointed face, and they look back at their parents like, why don't the foreigners like me? And it's like, well, son, you had a, you had a booger coming out of your nose. They're like, oh, Okay. And they just wipe it. They just eat it. Anyway, uh, yeah, that was fun. That was fun. <laughs> Who's that guy? Who's that? There's some video. Some guy running a marathon and eating pizza. I forget. I gotta look that up. You know. I think I'm gonna go do that. You know. Thanks for listening. I see you tomorrow.